I am hooked up with a freaking giant. I am hooked up with a freaking giant. Good morning, peeps. We are about to go fishing. It is a beautiful Friday. The sun is shining. It's about 7 a.m. Just rolled up to the launch here on Green Bay. And we are gonna go out today, me and Travis, and go chase some big walleyes. You can see I am geared up. It is pretty chilly this morning. I think it's like 28 degrees this morning. Uh, so still pretty chilly. Spring in Wisconsin, pretty typical. Uh, hopefully we'll have a good day today. We got a good wind out there right now. Uh, should be able to catch some big mama walleyes today, but we're definitely gonna go out and give it a shot. It is that time of the year. Fish are staged up pretty heavy. Uh, they're heading up into the mouths all across the bay. Uh, and we're basically intercepting them as they're feeding on the flats pre-spawn before they go up. So wish us luck. We're gonna see what we can make happen. Good one. See someone? Travis hooked up, guys. Oh, I... oh what the heck? You can take the pliers yep. and take that nasty thing off away from the boat. <laughs> I don't even want them in here. Freaking pike. Come on. Out of all the fish we can catch, our first pitch is a pike. And it wasn't even a big pike, and there's giant pike in here. Wow, look at all those fish. That's insane. Now, is this one a walleye? I sure hope so. Me too. I hope this one's a walleye too. That one that is a walleye. A Ooh, nice one. That one is a walleye. There, there we go. go. That a boy. It's a good way to start her off, huh? Yeah, I think that looks like a male. Probably 23 inch male, 22 inch male. On the hair jig. It might actually be a little female. Not milking. Could be, could be a male or a female. Nice. Good way. Yeah, I'm gonna get some big ones. Yeah. The ones we're, the ones we're here for. Was it on the stinger? Nope, a little bit. Yeah. Oh, looks like I'm putting hair on. <laughs> yeah, it's spot locked. We haven't moved since you had that fish. Time to put on a hair jig. Do da. Bigger one. Do da. Is it a big old one? I think it's a bigger one. Trav thinks it's a big one. What do you What do you guys think? You think it's a big one? I think it's got some pretty good head shakes. It looks like the same exact size. <laughs> it's like literally like the same exact fish. <laughs> Stinger again. That shows me, and the hook just came out. That shows me 100%. I need to be using a hair jig because <laughs> I don't know what you're doing. you just you just got two bites, and both of them were on the stinger. In around. So how many fish are missing the plastic completely when they're going to bite it? Fish, numero dos. Two for two, dude. Two casts in a row. That's what I'm talking about. All right. Hair jig, where is you? Shit's about to get real. Ooh, big school. Ooh, huge school. Yeah, there is, they're loaded, dude. They are loaded in here. There's a Mondo school right here. There's like 30 of them. This one bigger? I don't know. I can't drop it. I mean, I got an edit either way, but I'm just curious. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. A lot bigger. A lot bigger. That is the right kind. That my friend is the right kind that is a big mama that is a big mama <laughs> yeah buddy <laughs> heck yeah we gotta get a picture of that one that's a beautiful female the hair was the ticket look at this fish guys that is exactly what we are out here looking for right there check out that fish go ahead snap a picture of that fish Definitely gotta get that one back. Big, beautiful female. I wonder what that one goes. That one's gotta be pushing probably 26. Look at that. Trav is on a rampage right now. Rampage. Absolute slay fest. He's got the last three walleyes and a pike to boot. We don't need to talk about the pike. <laughs> we don't need to bring that up. On the hair, guys, on the hair. So guys, you can see here, good example, there's some rocks out here. So basically I know that if I want to, I can cast right here and I will land on those rocks right there. Uh, so what you can do is you basically rock your foot back and forth like this. And that then turns that head back and forth. And now the tip of the head, which is right here, shows me exactly what I'm looking at on here. So it's a great system and it works extremely well. There really, there really aren't any rocks right here. I haven't marked any rocks for a while. I'm gonna try going out a little bit in the deeper water ones. Hey, there's a few of them up here, it looks like. I'm hooked up with a freaking giant. I am hooked up with a freaking giant. 
a giant giant. Oh my god. This, oh my god. Oh my god. This might be the freaking one right here. This might be the freaking one right here, boys. Oh my god. It's definitely the heaviest fish I've hooked this year. Did you cast it? Oh my god. Oh, dude, it's a giant. It's a freaking giant. Oh man. Or is it hooked funny? Oh, please don't be hooked funny. Oh no, it's a, oh, it's a giant, dude. It's a 30. That one's pushing 30. That one's gotta be close to 30. It's a giant trap. Head first and under her. Head first and under her. That's a freaking stud, dude. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on. Yes! Yes! That is a freaking stud. Yeah! He's big. She's big. You want to just no, we'll bring it right in the middle. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah. baby. <laughs> Dude, I said the hook. I'm like, I see ooh. Am I, am I, how my stinger broke off? Yeah, that is a freaking stud. All right, we're gonna get a picture of that. We're gonna get it released. Dude, that one hit it. It was, but that was just like the one yesterday. I was like, is that a fish? Cause it was so freaking heavy. All right, guys, just caught this absolutely beautiful 30 inch walleye. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna get her back in the water here. There she goes, she was ready. <laughs> Dirty 30, baby, made it happen. Whew. So as you can see, we're definitely not on the water anymore. So basically what happened is, is as you saw in the video, the wind got kind of crazy. So basically what you have here is a 3 8 ounce hair jig. And as you can see, I'll give you a nice up close look at this. It's black with purple and purple tinsel, okay? Now the big thing to note with this is that black and purple contrast. It works extremely well for walleyes. Now we are out here in the Bay of Green Bay today and we're targeting pre-spawn walleyes, okay? These fish are moving up towards the rivers and they're staging and they're feeding before they end up going up the rivers to do their thing and spawn. Now, when the water temps are cold, the hair jig really shines. Today when we launched, the water was 36.4 degrees. So that's pretty cold for the beginning of April. Um, we had a really bad cold front come through the last three or four days, really dropped the water temps about four or five degrees. Uh, and so the hair jig was the ticket. And um, my buddy Brian from Kansas Angling Experience actually told me, he's like, dude, you gotta do the hair. Like they were on it really well. And Travis actually started off with it today. And he was the first one to hook up. As you guys saw in the video, he caught three of them. Uh, pretty quickly. So that is the one that was popping them today. That's the one I caught the dirty 30 on um, and it worked extremely well. One thing you have to note guys, and you really have to know because on Travis Fish, you'll see, you saw it in the video, that stinger hook right there guys, that was the bread and butter. If we did not have the stinger hook, we were certainly not gonna catch nearly as many fish as we did. And when you have a tough day like we did today, that stinger hook can make the difference between a complete bust or putting some walleyes in the boat. So guys, when you go out, Grab some hair jigs. This is a perfect size, perfect color. Go on Facebook, On The Fly Tackle LLC. Tell them we sent you. Grab some hair jigs and go catch some big walleyes.